Hey everyone, it's Kothis. Today I wanted to make a quick video on champions and champion mods, since this is not made super clear in-game. This is a beginner slash returning guide, so if you are familiar with champion content, you probably are good to skip this video, unless of course you want to just get a refresher on champion mechanics. I'll make sure this is quick, as always, just to get you the information you need, so with that out of the way, let's get right into it. Champions are enhanced versions of regular enemies that we face, and they come in three forms. Overload, the circular symbol, barrier, the triangle symbol, and unstoppable, the square symbol. These symbols will appear over a champion's head, allowing you to easily distinguish which type it is. Each of these three types of champions come in the form of all enemy races too, just know that each enemy race will always contain the same champion types. This will never change. So, for example, you'll never run into a barrier fallen captain because they are only overload. All champions can, and for the most part, must be stunned to kill. Going through them all, if not stunned, overload champions will mostly teleport and regenerate health, barrier champions will regenerate health and summon an overshield, and unstoppable champions will bull rush you and will take significantly reduced damage. So stunning is crucial. You can occasionally get away with not stunning in lower tier content if you nuke them quick enough, but it's pretty much impossible to do so on higher difficulties. Champions will appear in pretty much any form of content on higher difficulties. Long story short, if the activity says champion foes, it will contain champions. Just know that in general, the higher tier of difficulty you choose, the more champions there will be. So a Grand Master Nightfall will contain way more champions than a hero level Nightfall, and obviously they will have significantly more health. Champions will always appear at the same point in every form of content too, so after some practice you will be able to know exactly when and where champions appear. Stunning Champions is done by either having an artifact mod equipped with the corresponding weapon, of course, or with an exotic weapon that has the correct champion stun type intrinsically on it. So think weapons like the Lament with Intrinsic Barrier or Divinity with Intrinsic Overload. These are just a few examples, there are quite a bit more. Just check the Exotics description to see if it does have the Intrinsic Champion mod built in. And as for the Champion mods, these will always be found in your Seasonal Artifact. Each season changes up which weapons stun which champion type. So just know that before you get too comfortable with something like Unstoppable Shotgun from this season. So let's put this into practice. Let's deal with an overload champion. What do we do? Well, first, just make sure, of course, that you have the correct overload item equipped, and it's as simple as shooting it until you hear the stun sound. At this point, swap to a heavy damage weapon and start melting it. If you know you're not gonna kill it before it unstuns itself, just re-equip your overload item and stun it again before it heals. From there, just rinse and repeat until the overload is killed. Overloads are super annoying in that they can teleport behind cover and regenerate health extremely quickly, so just be ready for that. Alright, barriers next. Barrier champions are interesting in that they take a few seconds to summon the shield, making them somewhat easy to kill before needing to stun them if you nuke them quickly enough. Once a few seconds pass and around 1 6 of their health is gone, they will summon the shield and start regenerating health. Damaging this shield with any anti-barrier item will instantly stop them from healing, as well as help remove the shield. Removing the shield completely will stun them, giving you a few seconds of free damage before they try to bring out the shield again and heal. Not too bad overall. Lastly, unstoppable champions just require one bullet to stun and are considered generally the easiest to deal with. They don't regenerate their health, but they do take massively reduced damage. So, to stun an unstoppable champion, you need to aim down sight and wait until you see the unstoppable shot show up on your buff area. Some weapons, like shotguns, are nice because you don't need to ADS to stun, it just happens right when you shoot them. The amount of champions we kill is directly tied to the tier of completion we get when we finish things like Nightfall Strikes, Campaign Missions, or Lost Sectors. So starting off, Platinum tier is earned from killing every champion, Gold for most champions, and Silver for some champions. I'm honestly not even sure if you can get Bronze, I've never had that happen. It would actually be a challenge in itself to get that. Either way, there is no reason you should ever go for anything less than Platinum, so always kill every champion when you see one. Platinum rewards will give you
give you things like exotics from Lost Sector Farming, Nightfall weapons, and endgame currencies like Ascendant Shards and Enhancement Prisms from Nightfalls, and so on. Just go for Platinum every time for your best chance at all this stuff. Well, that is it for this one. I just felt like making a quick video guide on champions to help build a good foundation for people checking out my master solo flawless lost sector guides or grandmaster guides, all that stuff. By the way, more of those are on the way, so keep a lookout for them. In other news, we recently hit 500 subscribers on the channel, which I'm just so thankful for. I'm still waiting on YouTube to activate my community tab feature, but feel free to join my brand new discord using the link in the description. I really look forward to seeing you there. Thank you so much, everyone. I will see you in the next video.